Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can implement the push notifications in your applications, in your real-time applications. Here is the case that we use a Spring Boot WebSocket Angular. And uh, the current projects that are the current code base that I'm, I'm working on is based on the previous video. My previous video, this video here, that will appear hopefully uh, tomorrow, yeah, October 16th and at 10 a.m. This one will be released and uh, nevertheless you may uh, you can also see the source code of that project download that source code here so this part three of uh, my video series and uh, the new one is going to be the fourth part part four so what are you going to achieve in this video? So at the end of this video, you'll be able to have, uh, we already have this front end. And at the end of this video, you'll be able to see, uh, to have notifications like this one. For example, if I push, as I write something here, I write like daily, and press it, you can see that one is changing here. So if I continue, then two, if I send a private message to myself, you can see it's increasing. And then we can also send the message from the back end. So this one here, um, I will be, I will use uh, the REST API now to send the messages. You can see I'm sending the message now, not from this uh, test box now, but I'm currently pushing this uh, message from uh, from the back end. So I will show you how you can implement this one in this video. So stay tuned. Then uh, what we have to do now is to go back to our code. So here is our current uh, code base. As I said, you can download this current uh, code base in this uh, in this video here, under the descriptions here, you will have uh, the code base here under uh, my git, under the my git repository. And um, yeah, so let's start. So in order to start uh, this one, You'll need to do a couple of stuffs now. So what we are going to do is we start with the backend. We'll come here to our service here, to this service, and create a notif service, notification service. Let's add a new class that and Okay, my VS code is let us close everything. And I just want to put this one in the recording area. Okay, sorry for the delay. So I put everything in the recording area. So then we'll start here by adding a new service. Now we can see it on top here. So I will call this one Noti service. And then I will annotate this. We annotate this one with service. Uh, here is that, which is okay. And then, as uh, same thing as what we did here. So you'll need uh, exactly the same thing. So here, 
almost the same thing here. We'll need this uh, simp messaging template to push our notifications. And then here we are going to add that. Here is notif service. Okay, then. And uh, for this tutorial here, as you have seen in our front end, we have the public and the private messages. So we have two types of messages, public here and the private message here. So this private message and uh, so here we are going to have public void sent public noti public notifications and then same thing okay let's finish this I will take this one here and put here here write private notification private notice so and then on that one is done we'll need to send a message that message here we need to create a new object with the content default here is called public notifications public notification then under that one we take the template convert and send and then uh, we need to take uh, the destinations and the payload so here our destinations is going to be slash topic slash public noti right and then our payload is message So this is how we are going to push uh, the public notifications in the broker. So if we take a similar things and add here, here we'll have instead of public, we have private notifications. And here we have private. Then because uh, in private, in order to push private notifications here, we'll need uh, the user ID. So we need to define here final string ID. Here is the user ID. And in order to send a, to a particular user here, we have to make use of two user. So, and then we have to specify the user ID. We have to specify the user ID here. Oh, sorry, it is IP ID. Then here is our service, which is ready. And then now we'll come back to uh, our controllers. Here is um, the controller that we have before. And then we need each time that we uh, send a message, either a public uh, message or a private message here, what we do is that simultaneously we are going to push to count, uh, to count, uh, to call our counter so that it count uh, the number of message. And it's that number that we show in the notif symbol. So. Uh, here then we'll need to inject we need to inject uh, uh, 
what am I saying? We need to inject our service here. by calling uh, so many stuff by calling auto wired dependency injections and here we call our notif service that we call here notif service here so here is our notif service and then here we are going to call uh, send public notifications. So once this one is done, we are going to call our counter. Then similarly here for the private message here, we are going to call uh, private send private notifications and then we need to pass the ID and then the ID here will be from the principals and uh, here we take okay it is get string which is the ID and uh, similarly here for our post for our REST API we do the same thing so easily here we take Again, the same injections. We come here and we inject our notif. And uh, same as what we did here, we are going to call we call our notifications and then like this one we also call our notifications but instead of calling principles here because we have the id here we are going to pass the id we are going to pass the id so our backend is ready now our backend is ready. We have made use of the service in all controllers. We have called this uh, send notifications from the service in all these uh, uh, two controllers here, either for the REST API call or for the call from the bottom, event call from the bottom press. So if that one is done now what i have to do now is to go in the front end and uh, in the front end here we will start with uh, we are going to start with the easiest one here will be to start with uh, uh, big observable from the you have to make list counter what's going to take our counter and then here we call it notifications we call it notice subjects and then it's going to be not an array of string but here is going to be a number and then we are going to initialize it with zero we initialize it with zero same as this one here we take remember here this is our big box and in order to see to create a windows and see the content of our box here we need to create a windows in our subject notice subjects uh, behavior subject uh, behave, behavior subject instance so then we call this now notice 
notifications notice and uh, here of course is going to be from that so <coughs> if that one is set now uh, what we do now is <coughs> what we do now is to count uh, to add a counter each time that each time that we do any operations here we like to to increment our counter and in order to do that now I will come here and create private at not and uh, in at no t we are going to use the same concept that we have here so here we call it current count this instead of message we call it noti subject values and then here is the counter we need to increment it you are incrementing that and then inside next here uh, no here is the lock here is the lock we are going to lock this one as notifications count incremented and then this subject next year we will come here so instead of writing uh, this append operations here we call this next current count okay it is not e, not message then this is how uh, we are going to do so first we take the current value from the list then we increment our list by one whenever we call uh, add here then if that one is done then we also need to come now uh, we need to subscribe now to the notifications remember in the broker remember in the broker here we have in our service we have two addresses here private notee and public notee topic public notee and topic private notee so we need to subscribe to them subscribing means we need to listen right we need to listen to them so if you listen to them here I will take this one so subscribe to private topic here I will call this private noti and then we take this one and we replace this Noti here.
so uh, we we'll get this so we don't need a message here so here we use at no g mg so increment increment the notifications count so here we increment the notifications count so what we are doing now each time we listen to anything like this one here we are going to increment our notifications count the list here we call this at which will come uh, here and increment our big list uh, that is that here same thing move we replicate the same thing here for the public topic here we call it public public but for the public here we don't need the user it is for everyone the user is not needed public notifications and I think uh, with this one now it is almost set then now we need to come in uh, here so in our app component we need also uh, a variable to track the number of uh, notifications received so that one here we call it Noti count initialize it to zero and this one here is a variable that we use to track the number of notifications received then and uh, so once that one is done now we have uh, a five missing so we track the number of notifications received so then uh, here you have defined this one and uh, here is sent a private uh, message what am I doing now? what are you doing? <laughs> okay here is that here and uh, here we are subscribing to our uh, message here list here so same thing that we have here in the init phase we will uh, take this one and here is not connect here is different here is a subscribe and then in the message service here we are going to call uh, noti our observable list here is our list here so same thing that we did with uh, our list of messages here we are going to do it with uh, to subscribe to our public counter to our uh, okay global counter or public counter here is notice here then inside here we declare a 
count variables and now this this uh, not count is equal count then uh, we might also lock this is always good to lock stuff notification count from up component noti count and uh, uh, here so you have subscribed to it and uh, You are subscribed to the notification count to track uh, the notifications count, and what is then? We also need to make use of reset. Each time we click on the icon, remember whenever we click on the icon, then it. got hidden the number of count got hidden so here we will create a public method that we call a reset and under this reset we set this count to zero set this count to zero and uh, yeah that is almost it uh, for the app dot components and now we'll come now in the hmm, we come now in our front end and uh, so if you come here and go to angular material UI if you go to angular material UI here components you can see uh, we have here some examples badges that we have and uh, so we can take like this one. Let's take uh, this. Yeah, we take the first one. Let's take the default one. So here, and uh, we have a button. Here is the button, and. Of the button here is the mat batch and here instead of it here we are going to past our naughty count naughty count okay once we added uh, this one we need to import the batch we need to come here inside this module here we need to add the mat batch get module imported 
have to import it and then if you go back now this hero is gone here is what we have and uh, let's let's do a bit let's run our uh, back end maven clean install Uh, we built also our front end. We run the back end. Was it? Let's stop again. Build it again. Then we run. Our front end was built and you saved. That is running. And then if you come here, this is what we have now. If you push a message here, Okay, it's, it's, it's working, but we have it in other side. And if we click here, the reset is not uh, working. And okay, so let's tie it a bit. Let's take this one and bring it in the right side. And uh, in order to do that here, we are going to change the positions. Positions here is uh, above, after. Right, above after, okay, above after, it comes here, and then whenever we click on that, whenever we click on this one here, you want this one to go off if it is zero. So here, you will come here and then mat. But mat batch eden mat batch eden and then here we are going to past our conditions. Our conditions here will be to get eden if noti count is equal zero. So if this equals zero, then it got hidden. Then here four. But if it is zero here, then it got hidden. But reset is not yet working. That's why it is always one whenever we click here. And uh, we need to call uh, our even. Listener, Egan here, click, we'll call a reset, notice, here is that. So now, if we refresh this and, and type uh, a public message, and if you don't know, like we have this, suppose that we have uh, two stuffs here. So the public message here will ap should appear in two clients. All. If I send this one is appearing here and here, then here we have one and one. And then the private here should appear only here. So 
only in in client one you can see it's only appearing here and then only in client two and the notifications here increase here so same thing here we have two uh, notifications meanwhile in the other side we had only a one because it was private to each of them here is private to this one that's why only is only incrementing here and then if we click on this then it got disappeared and uh, remember again that um, we had also implemented our post here for the service and in order to do that we take this one so each time that we refresh this then we got the id then we are going to take this id here we take this user id if we take that user id we are taking that user id let's minimize this and if you go to our client this is a Tonda client like postman and then the URL here is post to private here is our post to private here and then if we call we come here and replace this one with id here is the json format and uh, here our message here is message content that is correct if we push then you can see bam it is coming so it has been called it's been coming here but it come only in this client because we are sending that message to the private uh, stuff that we sent here to this message so you send this one this is a private notification that we send to only one client and if you want to send it to all clients then and there was also this uh, method here in here post to everyone this is post to message bot in post to message bot uh, here is the one here post to message bot we don't need the users here and then if we click if we send to that one we are expecting that all user they get the message so you can see that is increasing and even if we reset everything and send hello mummy then you can see that the two clients are receiving uh, this hello mummy so right they are receiving this 444 four, four. so this a bit here we can go to main we can make this demo as many as we want so uh, this is uh, exactly the project that we have accomplished till now congratulations to you if you have succeeded to reach this level by the end of this uh, level here you should be able to implement so many stuff in um, with the websocket like implementing the WebSocket, setting up, connecting it to Angular, and then make use of, of REST. Make use of REST uh, service to post message to the broker, and then send in the message to the broker, and then be able to uh, be able to use this uh determine this handler uh, this handshake handler here to implement private messages 
and then here of course like configuring the broker and then setting the endpoints stomps endpoints stuff like that and then play with angular uh, material ui like this one so these are all stuff that all this scattered uh, part of knowledge that uh, try i gather and try to prove if you into this tutorial you are not going to stop here nothing is going to stop us stay tuned for many surprising uh, new topic that uh, we'll touch in this uh, real-time development applications bye